are you ready to bring your logo design to life? In this tutorial, we will show you how to edit a PSD logo mockup by using Photopea, a powerful online photo editing tool that supports PSD files. The logo mockups are a fantastic way to showcase your logo designs in a realistic and a professional manner. And with Photopea, you have all the tools that you need to customize these mockups and make them truly your own. The key to editing a PSD logo mockup is to understand the layers panel. Each layer represents a different element for the mockup, such as the background, the logo placeholder, and any additional effects or texture. The first step is to import your PSD file of your mockup to Photopea. For that, I have this logo file. I'm going to place it right here. You can download these logo mockups from Freepik, the Vector Z, and other sites that provides you assets for your logo mockup. Here, you can see there's an option to replace the screen. You can make some adjustment to this, but we'll go to this one later. Just double click on it. This will open up the second layer to your panel. Now from here, you can see there are tons of layers options that I told you before. You can make some adjustment to this one. These are the perspective. Now to add your own logo, just double click on it. Here you can paste your own logo or you can add the text for your logo as well. I'm going to select this one and then delete it. Now go to the text panel. Here, write your own logo. Now select the selection tool and drag it to the center. You can select the text tool. Select all of them. Here you can access the text panel. If you can't find it here, you need to go to the window and search for paragraph or the character panel. Once you have it here, you can increase or decrease the size or if you want to change the font just click on it and select the font that you want after selecting the font make it the regular you can increase or decrease the leading space i will just stick it with the auto now it comes to the paragraph and center align your text in the middle and once you're done with this just hit on this tick mark or if you want to change its color you can also do that but let's stick with this white one. You can also use these guidelines to place your logo inside that. If your logo exceeds this box, this will not look good in the mockup. So let's stick with this one. I'll just hide this one. And now you need to save this. Just go to the file and click on save smart object. Now the smart object is updated. If I close this one, there you have it. Now you see our logo is now added to this mark. Before it was like this. Now we have changed it to this one. You can also add the perspective. You can hide this one and show this one. This one looks like that. And this one like that. So let's stick with this one. If you want to make some adjustment, you can use this panel to make some adjustment. Just double click on it. You can make some adjustment with this. If you want to do the adjustment of the curves, you can play with these curves in this panel. So let's stick with the default one. Now once you're happy with it, it's time to save it. You can simply just click on file and export as PNG. And now you can select the width and height with this and the format from here and click on save. And there you have it. If you have any questions regarding this, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.